My name is Bridget Jerzyk, and this is my husband, Craig Jerzyk. We recently lost our 27-year-old daughter, Kasia Jerzyk, to a heroin overdose, and we're raising her six-year-old daughter, Cadence. We started having problems with her in high school. I had had a psychiatrist tell me my daughter had PTSD, and we didn't know where that came from. She came to me first and said, Mom, do you know? And she said the person's name was arrested. He raped his niece. First thought in my head, because she had been going to that house since she was four years old. She had slept over there a thousand times. We knew the family so well, and apparently between the ages of 11 and 13, he had continuously molested her. Um, right to the point of intercourse. Where the heroin began, not exactly sure. About when she was 19, she met the father of my granddaughter, Cadence, and he was a dealer. Then she got pregnant with Cadence. He was in jail. Not only did we not know anything about heroin uh, when Kasia was doing it, um, I still didn't know anything about it after she had passed. To lose somebody to it, to the fight, uh, when they're trying to fight for it, when you know they have a life to live and there's so much love for them, all that love doesn't even make a difference. It, it doesn't matter. All the love in the world just doesn't matter. You know, the, the stigma that's attached to the family that's going through it. Oh, the parents must have done something wrong. Oh, the, you know, it's always the, it's parenting or it's where you're living or, and it's not any of those things. It was a beautiful service but I should not have been burying my daughter. Her daughter should not have been sitting at a casket at that age for that reason. This is something we can stop, and I do believe that, and I believe with enough people caring, it can be stopped.